Would you like the benefit of having a huge machine like this, a travelling column machine from Abamia? These are available from Dugard in the UK and there's one here at Halifax Rack and Screw Company. So I'm here today in Brig House at Halifax Rack and Screw uh, Limited. Now I'm here specifically to look at this machine behind us, uh, of which there is actually three Abamio machines they have here on site. Um, Simon, big travelling column machine, perfect for the type of uh, machining you're doing, isn't it? Longer parts that need serious metal removal. Absolutely. The, the travelling column machine suits uh, the wrap making process. Generally, we're blocking long, long square or long rectangular bars out, moving a lot of material very quickly, and this machine does it very efficiently. Now, I know they do, they do bigger than this as well, don't they? they? Do I mean, I think. Eight metres. They do up to eight metres. So these machines, we're talking some big, big, big machines. machines. Yeah, absolutely. Now, here, interestingly as well, you, it, it's, a, it's kind of a three axis machine, this, isn't it? But they are now available as well with the, with the tilting head, the integrated rotary table. So you can, the capabilities of the machines are expanding as well. Yeah, well. We have, we have two four, fourth axis for two other machines already. Um, the next sort of investment we'll be looking at the fourth and the fifth axis. Um, and, and how would you put the reliability of these machines? You've got three of them here in your machine shop. It's a Spanish built machine, uh, now sold in the UK by, by Dugard. How would you put down for people that are looking at these machines, uh, you know, to get a trusted opinion? Um, the support for the machines is very good. Uh, we run the machines 24-7. So we have got, we're probably on the second spindle on the machine behind us, but we've done a lot of hours. So, but the actual service support's very good. And, and two things really, you're not tickling the material and no, it's no. pretty, pretty tough it's stuff, tough isn't material, it? Yeah. Um, we use Sandvik tooling, the best out there for face milling. And, and what is the material that we're actually, or the gentleman's loading or taking one of the parts off now? What is that? That's S690. And what are you actually doing to that part? We're just, at, Currently they're blocking the part out to the outside dimensions as a rectangle and then we'll put the teeth in and drill the holes and mill the rebate. Now do you, do you use this as a pendulum machine as well? Do you load one side while the we other do, side? On the shorter gear racks we do pendulum so we can, we can set it up to load one side while it's machining the other side. I think one thing you have to consider when you're uh, using a machine like this is getting, as, as your colleague is doing here, the swarf out of the machine. You're cutting a lot of it. Do you have to think about swarf extraction and all of that in your purchasing uh, process? Absolutely, we've got to remove a lot of swarf very quickly. Um, this machine is very good at that. How does it do it? Is it just a conveyor? It's a screw, it's a screw system at the back. Okay, and it's effective getting it out? Very effective, yeah. Uh, what about your work holding as well here? This is, you know, we've recently done a lot, or talked a lot about magnetic work holding. You're practicing this, aren't you? Is yeah, it reliable we, as well? We've got magnetic work holding in all the machines. We, we generally use bright drawn steel uh, material, square and rectangular, that sits nicely flat onto the magnets. Uh, and what is, what is this control system that you're using here? Is this a Siemens? Siemens? Because I know there's options on that too. It is, it's Siemens 840D, I think. Um, and it's a very, very good control. The guys are very into this control. And do, do, they, do, they, do you do a lot of your programming at the machine or offline? We do both now, we've got master cam. So we do offline programming and the guys can all program, set and operate the machines. Okay, I was looking as well, you've got an open, open roof here on this machine, which is obviously very convenient for the crane to be able to load it. Do you ever have any problems with coolant going up and swarf flying up out? No, 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 it generally stays within the machine. As you can see, the floor's fairly clean and tidy. Uh, we don't have that sort of problem. Good stuff, thank you very much Simon. Tell about Abamie, travelling column machines, not just available like this as a three axis version, multi-axis capability and not just this size, they go much, much, much bigger as well, available from Dugard. Contact them at dugard.com.